Hey everybody, it's Dean DaCosta, The Search Authority, and today we're looking at a really cool site that I think can really help people called DocGuard. Um, you can register, you can sign in, it's free, and basically what it's doing, it's going to let you know if there is a malware or anything detected in a document, which I don't know about y'all, but for me that's cool. I get a lot of documents, I get a lot of stuff, and I really want to know, do I need to worry about it? Is there something in there? Maybe I shouldn't play with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that as an example. Um, a version of my resume, um, recently updated, I just like to keep it updated. Let's stick it in there, and it's in there. Boom, boom, boom. Let's analyze the file, and we are waiting. You see the little red dot? It's going blah. And here's the results. Quick, simple, and easy. Let's see. It's clean. Done. I have nothing. There's no detected malware. Done. Here's some generalization. Dean Prime, legacy Word file with external resources. Boom, boom, boom. MD5, when it was created or recently uploaded, which is right there. It's clean. There you go. Done. It's that simple. Now, if there was a problem, it would tell me, Hey, Dean, you got a problem. You better do something about it. So, there you go. In this case, so we, everybody knows where it is because I've been told, hey, can we have the URL? It makes it so much easier. And I sometimes forget. I assume you can read it up top. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. It's app, app .doc -d .io, Or as we, being ex military, would be, it would be um, said a little different. Um, Alpha Paul Paul dot Delta Oscar Charlie. I can never remember what G is. Gamma, Uniform, Alpha, Romeo, Delta, Dot, Indigo, Oscar. Don't ask. Um, you know, it's really funny. It's been a while since I've been in the military, and I sometimes forget certain letters, but the common ones I'm pretty good with still. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Now, besides the analyzations, you can do a hash search and a public example search. You can sanitize, which basically means you can also clean it. Uh, just in case there is something there, it can remove it and take care of it. And then, of course, it's going to look for passwords, just in case we want to share a password in a document, now would we? Or to see if it's password protected or remove password. There's so many things you can do with this tool. So, right, again, this is DocYard. It's just there. To if you get a document and you're not sure, you want to make sure it's good, there's no thing, put it in here. Um, I actually, last week, I got a doc in the, in the um, email, and I knew the person, but something was... I don't know what made me do it. Something just seemed off. So I put it on here. Had a problem. And I contacted him. Did you know this thing has malware? And he's like, no. I go, where'd you get it? He goes, well, I downloaded it from the site. I go, you might want to start teching things when you download them from sites you are not familiar with. Um, so, anyway, there you go. Long story short, Doc Guard, my name is Dean DaCosta, the Search 30. May the source be with you.